Hello guys, hope you are fine and doing great. Today I thought of making a tutorial on displacement map and normal map which is very important in texturing. So let's get started. I am not going to use any other software because generally we create normal map and displacement map in different softwares. But today I am going to do it in my itself. And I think I have done it in the in our class also. So let's see I will show you how to render it I'm using my 2019 uh, if you are having my 2017 or 18 that is also fine all right so let's get started I'm taking a cube and I'll make an object so scale it up a little bit All right, bring it up and giving some div divisions. Selecting these faces and I'll just extrude it. The thickness, let's say, I guess one will be fine. From here to there, once again, extrude. The thickness will be the same one. From here to there, again the thickness will be one. And by selecting this, again I am extruding, and the thickness is one. Okay, you can see, I am having five steps. And now, selecting all the edges all the edges in the sense all the border edges all right that's fine so selecting all the border edges even this one and going to edit mesh and bevel and let's keep the segments too and width I don't know what will what should be the width according to the scaling of the scene and let's check what will happen I think width can be a little less all right So this is my object I am going to work with. So very first thing what I am doing, I have to unwrap it. So for that, let's go to UV editor and inside the UV editor I am going to tools and show UV toolkit. All right. So first thing what we are going to do, I'm selecting the entire object, go to create and planar mapping. So what it did basically, I selected the object and converted the entire object into one UV shell. You can see that it is single UV shell. Now. I'm just selecting the same edge actually while creating the model I could have created a shortcut for this for this selection but anyway I missed it so it will not take too much time can see I selected almost all the open edges and over here 
in the UV toolkit cut and come over here UV shell and you can see I separated all the sides all right now only selecting this one only selecting this one and unfold all right I'm I'm rotating it we can see problem right so once again come inside the unfold attribute and unfold along U or V so first let's check U absolutely fine and then V all right so you can see unfolded nicely and now I'll make the UV straight because this should be straight all the uh, size of the steps is same so straighten UVs let's select one one by one So once again I have unfolded and then straighten. Now U also. Alright. This U visual is looking fine. Over here you can see the checker boxes. Now same thing I am going to do with this. I think I should flip. So going to the transform and flip sorry you flip and select this one and flip all right so now selecting this one and once again unfold unfold along U and V this one also I'll unfold along U and V size is becoming different but there will be no problem later on and let's check if these are straight all right so like this one straighten fine now this one is left selecting this unfold just trying to unfold it properly first you can see it is taking the shape all right now straighten UVs selecting everything and straighten UVs straighten UV shell and this is looking fine so I think everything is looking fine there is no stretch select everything going to the layout option and click on layout you can see everything is scaled properly all right now so now selecting everything and scale it down a little bit so what why I scale it down because I don't want any of the UVs touching this 
axis in touching the border all right fine it is properly unwrapped now what i am going to do i'll just duplicate it and keeping it over here this is my second object uh, let's try to understand wh what is my actual idea just close it okay this is my low poly model you can see the polygons are very less over here also you can see i am dealing with 234 faces all right and so low poly model and here i am going to convert it into a high poly mesh and i will add some detailing to this mesh and i will transfer all the detailing from this model to this model all right 